already unfolding from Hurricane Helene. Tonight, the death toll now at least 230. The National Guard and FEMA on the ground for days now. Tonight, they're now dealing with something else. The false claims and conspiracy theories about FEMA and the federal help being pushed by former President Trump. North Carolina's Republican senator knocking down the false claims. And just moments ago, Vice President Harris before the cameras calling the false claims by the former president irresponsible, saying Americans in the storm zone are entitled to the help. Morgan Norwood from North Carolina tonight. Tonight, with the death toll from Hurricane Helene now at 230 and massive recovery efforts still underway, federal agencies on the ground facing another obstacle, conspiracy theories and false claims spreading about the response. Amplified for days by former President Trump, who's falsely claiming FEMA disaster relief money is being spent on migrants instead of survivors. They're getting no help from our federal government because they have no money, because their money's been spent on people that should not be in our country. But FEMA's disaster relief funds are separate from other Department of Homeland Security programs that support migrant response. Good afternoon, everyone. At the White House, a remarkable scene in the middle of an emergency response having to knock down conspiracies. This needs to stop. This needs to stop. If you care about your constituents, if you care about the people, if you care about Americans, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't spread these falsehoods. It is dangerous. The White House debunking multiple claims being spread on social media that FEMA is confiscating property or that survivors will only get $750 in aid. People who have a microphone and a podium uh, should not continue to spread this falsehood. FEMA's director warning the false claims could keep aid from getting to the people who need it most. The people that have been impacted are afraid to apply for our assistance. Assistance that then they can get a hotel room. They can get reimbursement for some of the costs or damages to their home. North Carolina's own Republican Senator Tom Tillis says issues on the border are not affecting the flow of resources into western North Carolina. On this side of the house was the kitchen. Stuart Patio's home was one of the many that floated away in the floodwaters. It's home. Now it's gone. Stewart says FEMA has been here and that they paid a visit just today and says the baseless conspiracies are not helping those who are living through this. Instead of sitting around playing on your computer, you need to go help the people that need help. And late today, Vice President Kamala Harris saying what Trump is spreading after Helene is, quote, irresponsible. She also warned Americans to take this next hurricane coming very seriously. This one is going to be very, very serious. For days. FEMA has been here, so has the National Guard. In fact, FEMA is saying assistance for Helene has already topped $210 million. And David, one more thing tonight, a sign of the times, FEMA saying they put up a website called Hurricane Helene Rumor Response. David? Responding to the rumors tonight as well as to the tragedy there on the ground. Morgan, thank you.